To assign absolute configuration to a stereo center, you first need to know how to assign priority. So make sure you've had a look at that video tutorial before you start on this one. Indeed, the first step in assigning the absolute configuration of a stereogenic center, also known as a stereo center, and sometimes called a chiral carbon, is to work out the relative priority of the four groups attached. We do this based on atomic number, and in this example the priority order is from bromine, highest, to chlorine, to carbon of the methyl group, and then hydrogen as the lowest priority. Step two is to orient the molecule so the lowest priority group points away from you. In this case, it's already drawn that way. Remember that a dashed bond, like the one to the H here, means that bond and atom are behind the page, i.e. pointing away from us. Step, step three, the last step, is to read the three groups pointing towards you from highest priority bromine to second highest priority chlorine to third highest methyl. If this sequence takes you in an anti-clockwise direction, you are looking at the S enantiomer. You might like to remember that anti-clockwise is a bit anti-establishment and perhaps a little sinister, which starts with an S. Let's look at another example. Step one, rank the groups in priority order from one highest to four lowest. Step two, position the molecule so the lowest priority group is away from you. Again, in this situation, it's already there, though that won't always be the case. Step three, read the three groups pointing towards you from highest priority, the amino group, to second highest, ethyl, to third highest, the methyl group. In this case, the sequence takes us in a clockwise direction, which means that this is the R enantiomer. Let's do one more example. Start by ranking the groups in priority order, OH, then CH2Br, methyl and hydrogen. Make sure that the hydrogen lowest priority is away from us. Now read the three groups that point towards you from highest to second highest to third highest priority. This again takes us clockwise in this example, so this must be the R enantiomer. One last thing before we go which is to note that we use these same priority rules when assigning stereochemistry to carbon-carbon double bonds. In this situation, first rank the priority of the two groups attached to each end of the alkene. At the left-hand carbon, methyl is higher priority than hydrogen. At the right-hand carbon, it's bromine that is top, followed by ethyl. Now, if the two higher priority groups are on the same side of the carbon-carbon double bond, as in this example, we have the Z stereoisomer. You can remember that Z equates to the same side, if you like, although it derives from the German Zusammen. Finally, the contrasting situation, where the two higher priority groups are on opposite sides of the alkene. So assigning priorities as before, methyl higher priority than hydrogen on the left there, bromine higher than ethyl at the right-hand carbon. Now the two higher priority groups the methyl group at the left-hand carbon, the bromine at the right-hand carbon, are on opposite sides. This is the Eingegen, or E, stereoisomer. Now, time for you to go and apply this and practice some more.